My name's uh, Richard Hoff. I'm the director of viticulture here at Mercer Ranches in the Horse Seven Hills. We've been on a four-year um, mechanization project now, um, converting first blocks, looking for 5.5 tons per acre in reds and seven tons per acre in whites to fully mechanize them. And now we've moved into uh, reserve mechanization as well. So looking for our higher end, low tonnage blocks to be mechanized as well. The, the whole reason we started mechanizing initially was really not looking at cost at all. Obviously there is, there's cost, uh, both negative and positive associated with it. But it was just the fact we're a growing company. We're putting in a lot of acres every year and we are very rem remotely located, our existing vineyards and our future vineyard sites. And we just can't attract enough people out here to move as, as quickly as we need to and to beef up our operation like we need to. And so that was our impetus for mechanization. It starts really early, like just like people who are using labor, uh, hand labor to prune, we have to start very early, early, as many acres as we have. So we actually start machine pruning in December. And we're using a Polonc TRP precision pruner. So it's an optical pruner that searches the cordon and we're setting it to a predetermined height above the cordon and cutting all the spurs of that height. And then once the growing season starts, uh, we move into uh, mechanical desuckering and shoot thinning. Um, and we're using a couple different tools there, but basically an over the row unit with barrels and uh, rubber whips that are smacking the, the sides of the cordon and the trunks to remove all the, all the suckers and then some percent of the uh, shoots on the cordon as well. From there, we're still gonna be uh, a little heavy from a crop perspective. Um, so we're gonna look at doing some very early mechanical leafing to intentionally remove clusters. So we get our wires up pretty early and pretty quickly. Uh, really the only operation I didn't touch on was mechanical wire lifting. We've tried a, a tool out of Italy, a pneumatically driven tool that uses your existing wires and posts um, without, without a lot of luck. And we've also tried the Polonc um, wire lifter, which uses your existing wires and plastic staples um, also with no luck. So currently we're still moving wires by hand. And then we wrap up the season uh, just like anybody else with, uh, with a mechanical harvester. Uh, we run Polonc harvesters. Um, some of our higher end blocks will run the selective process, which destems in the field. Um, but all of our grapes are mechanically harvested. As far as what it means now that we've started and we've really scaled up our mechanization, um, certainly we have less people now on the, on the team than we did in the past. And so there's certain operations like wire lifting, which we already needed outside help for during certain times of the year. Um, we may need a little more outside help, especially since now we want to get our wires up a little earlier and a lot quicker to facilitate early mechanical leafing. So a year in mechanization, it's extremely difficult. So we're able to, I feel like, get the same quality and results that we get by hand. But it, as far as upper management, it takes a lot more time and a lot more data collection to get there. So I would encourage anybody trying to uh, really not take that for granted. I think a lot of people look at it as a, like a cost cutting mechanism. Um, and then it's, you'll be able to get thing, across things faster with less, but it's really a lot more difficult for management. As far as lessons learned, nothing's going to be as easy as you expect. A lot of these tools work great out of the box, and it's kind of like the butterfly effect. I would say every time we do something, we realize somewhere down the line it affects another operation, and we've coped with that, but uh, yeah, it's, it's tough.